Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how to use the code editor Atom to mod the game of ground to make some basic mods. The first thing you're going to want to do is download Atom. Once you've done that and opened it up, you should open up a window that looks a lot like this, which is the settings menu. At this point you could just go off and start modding, but it was recommended that you download some packages first. The first package that I would recommend is an audio package. This allows you to preview audio files from inside Atom. Otherwise, if you don't have this extension and you open up an audio file, it will just be a bunch of random characters. Another useful package is AutoClose, which will close tags for you so you don't have to type out tag closing, and it makes sure that you don't forget to close a tag, which is always a pain when you forget to do that. Next one is Color Picker. This one allows you to pick hexadecimal colors, which is what a ground uses, minus the hashtag. Compare files allows you to compare two files. Let's say you have two different versions of a file or a mod and you want to figure out what's different. That can be used. And we have the hacks language, which for basic stuff you're not going to need, but for more complicated scripting, that's what a ground uses, so it could be a useful thing to have. The last package is teletype, which allows you to collaborate with other people, and you can both edit the same code at the same time. All right, so now, I will show you how to begin and make your first mod. So the first thing you want to do is go to File Open Project folder and open up two folders under the Ground Data directory. And then you want to open up two folders, a Ground Data Core and a Ground Data Mods. From the game's perspective, everything is a mod, including Core and Full. Core is in its own folder since the demo only has Core, you can't have mods. Um, and then the full version is in it, the mods folder because it's an add-on to the game that you can get. If you're just starting modding, your mods directory is just going to be the full version. Mine is very full because I've done a lot of mods. So the next step is to create a mod folder. So this is the container for all of your code. So you're going to go to the mods directory, right-click on it, and then click New Folder. This will open a new folder. You can name it. I'm naming this one Example. And then right-click on the folder and click New File. You have to name it mod.xml, otherwise the game will not recognize it as a mod. The next step is to actually have the base syntax of your mod that all mods need to have. I always have the website tag as the invite to the Discord, but that's fine. Anyway, the I always use a base.xml that I just copy and paste into the new mod. makes it a lot easier and saves a lot of time for each mod. So each step you're going to have your mod name. That's the name of your mod that's going to appear. Description, just a short description of the mod. Doesn't really have anything. Author usually your name, if you, maybe if you're working with someone else you add their name, version, you put the version number or text or anything, and then website, I always put the invite link or a thing to the mod on mod.io, and then inside the, in, inside the init blocks, that's where you put all of your code that makes up your mod, and anything you put in there will be put into the, will be implemented in the game. The final thing I would like to show is the find in files mechanic. So this can be accessed by using control shift F. This will search for any sort of text string or whatever you input into it in all of the project folders that you previously opened. So in this case, for my case, it would be it would look in mods core and then mods. So if I just hit enter and look for item, it'll, it'll find all instances of item that are in all of those files. This can be very useful if you want to see how to define an item. You can just look for it and then copy paste that and put in your own code. It's very useful for learning how to do new stuff and if you want to look at how it's done in the vanilla game this is the way to do it. You can just find it instantaneously. You don't need to go searching through folders and all that. It's very easy. It's a very good tool to have. That about wraps up the video. In the description you can find the Atom download and the UAMT Discord invite link. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you get a basic grasp on how to use Atom to mod the ground.